戻る先生うん授業中にタバコはないと思いますこれはタバコじゃないレロレロキャンディーだレロレロキャンディーから煙は出ませんそれはものすごくレロレロしてるからだうんいや<笑> It's not because it looks cool that it is cool Do not smoke kids In the world of literature, certain characters become immortalized not only for their captivating stories, but also for their distinctive habits and preferences. Among these iconic traits, the habit of smoking holds a special place. Authors have created characters who personify sophistication, power, and a touch of rebellion through their affinity for the act of smoking. Like James Bond, Sherlock Holmes, and even one of my favorites, the wizard Gandalf. All of these well-praised characters share one characteristic, they love a good smoke. Cigars, cigarettes, long pipes, if there is smoke, there is fire. And what fire am I talking about? The inner fire of deep characters. Okay, so this sentence sounds a little weird, and maybe condescending. Like, am I saying that every character that smokes is amazing and deep? Yeah, no, of course not. We have a lot of great examples, sure, but we can never adopt a pattern as the absolute truth. In this video, we'll talk about what tobacco represents for the manga industry, while I point out my favorite manga characters that like to blow some smoke, and what this means for them. So let's understand the impact of tobacco in Japan. Let's go! Tobacco represents a lot in Japan's history. During the early years after its introduction, tobacco became the subject of much prohibitive legislation. But despite legal hindrances, its cultivation and use continue to spread. By the time the bans were lifted in the 17th century, tobacco was firmly established as one of the most popular consumer luxuries throughout all social levels, especially the low and middle classes. In these and other ways, influences from tobacco made their mark upon early modern Japanese art, society, agriculture, and economy. But even with all that, in common with other countries, the number of smokers in Japan is on a steady decline. In 2023, the estimated cigarette smoking rate among adult men got to 24.9% and for women 7.5%, which is a considerable drop from its peak in 1966 when the proportion of male smokers stood at a staggering 83%. So props to Japan, old habits die hard, but they are doing a great job. So now that we are a little more contextualized about Japan's tobacco culture, let's start for real. And remember, we are talking about fictional characters. Do not smoke. So, because of the huge participation of tobacco and cigarettes in Japan's culture, we can see to this day that the act of smoking is not shamed at all in the manga industry. Authors create characters that smoke heavily up and down. For most manga authors, smoking transcended all its health issues. Just recall when we talk about a character that smokes. We never go like, Oh yes, there was this character on the show that smoked. It's such a bad habit, you know. We actually think like, Man, have you seen that dude that smokes on the anime? It's pretty badass, right? So, if you're a manga slash anime fan, would you agree that you're never too worried about the consequences of smoking in a story? Because in my case, I've always pictured these characters as deep or sorrowful. It's like they have these intricate layers just because they smoke. Like the reason why they've started smoking, for example. This question alone already piques my interest. And that's why I want to talk a little bit about one of my favorite characters from one of my not so favorite shows. I'm talking about Shikamaru Nara from Naruto. As I just said, Naruto is not one of my top picks. But this character, ho、oh, ho, this、no. character, he's just amazing. Shikamaru possesses an exceptional mind, often strategizing several moves ahead, like a grandmaster chess player. His calm demeanor allows him to think clearly under pressure, leading to impressive victories. While initially lazy and unmotivated, he grows to embrace his responsibilities, fueled by loyalty and love for his comrades. This journey makes him relatable and inspiring. By the way, guys, if you hear anyone saying that Sasuke was Naruto's best friend, This is number one bullshit. Shikamaru was there supporting Naruto all along. And I know that I started it, but I don't want to vent about that now. What I actually want to talk about is how witnessing death shaped him, making him stoic and mature. He learns to prioritize the greater good. 
willing to make personal sacrifices for those he cares about. His teacher, Azuma, used it to love smoking. The dude was always with a pack of cigarettes ready to light one in a whim. But after an encounter with powerful terrorists, he gets murdered in front of Shikamaru. The battle ends with Shikamaru and his friends defeating the villains and since then he starts smoking as a coping mechanism to deal with his pain. In this case, we can clearly see that the author Masashi Kishimoto succeeded in building meaning and deepness into such a common and ill habit. I really believe that Shikamaru is Kishimoto's best written character, and smoking with all its context truly pushed the character even further. Oh, and if you guys didn't know, in the anime, this iconic and emotional panel was censored, like he's in the rain with nothing in his mouth. That's why I always tell people to read the original manga before watching the anime. Oh. It genuinely adds up. Now, along with Shikamaru in the I got censored category, we have another compelling and beloved character. I'm talking about Vin Smoke Sanji from One Piece. Sanji is that character that leaves a mark. From his design, to his personality, to his backstory, the guy has it all. Sanji's unwavering principles, selflessness and willingness to fight for what he believes in make him a role model for many fans. Outside him being a massive pervert, yeah, he really needs to work on that. But his highs for sure overcome his lows. And we need to highly praise the genius author Eiichiro Oda, not only for writing the masterpiece that One Piece is, but for giving us such an interesting and childish view of cigarettes, as Sanji first started smoking because he wanted to look like an adult. At first, he hated the taste of smoke, and even <laughs> coughed a lot, but because of everything he went through, Sanji saw smoking as a way to show everyone how mature he already was, at like 10 years old, and that he could take care of himself. Basically, he didn't want his adopted father and the crew at the time to worry about him. These small details, without a doubt, add layers to his character and his development is a delight to read. And again, we have censorship as on the anime they decided to leave this part out to not tell the viewers that smoking equals maturity. I know it was the early 2000s guys, but damn, there is an interesting context here. People who watch the anime never got to see this side of Sanji. But whatever, like, this dude has one of the most iconic cigarette scenes in the history of anime. <laughs> では Next, we have a character that got very popular in the past few years. I'm talking about Aki Hayakawa from Chainsaw Man. This character is one of those who carries a gigantic emotional weight that's not completely related to smoking, but the cigarettes take a huge role in Aki's story. At first, he started smoking because of another character called Himeno. Himeno shares cigarettes with Aki throughout the series, and it becomes a symbol of their connection and shared perspective on life and death. In the dangerous world of Chainsaw Man, death is a constant presence. The author Tatsuki Fujimoto portrays smoking as a symbol of this awareness highlighting the fleeting nature of life and how they live on borrowed time. As devil hunters, like Himeno and Aki, don't live long enough to experience the negative effects of smoking. Aki's journey resonates with readers because of his complexity, growth, tragic fate and relatable struggles. While flawed and driven by darkness, he finds moments of light and connection, ultimately sacrificing himself for others, setting his status as a tragic hero and a well-written character. The cigarettes become so important in Aki's life that one of his key plot points is completely based on a cigarette written, Easy Revenge. But if you want more details on that, you should read the manga. It's pretty good. Good. And now, to wrap it up, we have an unpopular pick. I'm talking about Ishin Kurosaki from Bleach. Maybe you've never read Bleach, but this guy is basically the main character's father. And he is not just a regular father, but a pretty cool character too. Ishin Kurosaki, Ichigo's seemingly goofy dad, hides a surprising depth that makes him a beloved character. 
Despite his goofiness, he deeply cares for his family, willing to face any danger to protect them. He shifts effortlessly between being a silly, over-the-top father and a stoic, powerful former captain. His backstory as a former Soul Reaper captain and the loss of his wife, Masaki, adds layers of complexity and hidden pain. This makes him more relatable and sympathetic. And that's exactly where Smoking comes in. When Ishin first started dating Ichigo's mom, Masaki, Ishin says that whenever he smoked, his wife would call him Ku. And this is why cigarettes have a special place in his heart. Since then, he started looking at cigarettes in another way. After a couple of years, Masaki gets skilled protecting their son, Ichigo. As a result, Ishin smokes at her graveside every year on the anniversary of her death. So what started as a wholesome memory became an act of respect for the love of his life. In Ishin's case, smoking did not become a habit, but it's still an important ritual of his life that emerged only because his wife thought he looked pretty cool. Masaki wa taiyo ni niteita. Ore wa tada. Masaki ni furi maasare te iru koto ga shiawase datta. Soshite, omae ga umareta. It is so interesting how a bad practice like smoking can hold so much meaning in the hands of a skilled author. It's not about just romanticizing tobacco and cigarettes. It's about understanding that building characters with interesting connections to smoking can add meaning and dramatic effect to the story. Oh, and don't get me wrong, we're talking about anime and manga. In real life, don't even think about smoking. This shit will destroy you. Leave smoking to fictional characters, okay? And now, a lesson on what smoking does to you, with teacher Hichikata from Gintama. After getting addicted, this will be you, every couple of hours. But if you begin, not everything is lost. You can take care of yourself and stop smoking to achieve a superpower. And that's it for today, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Keep being healthy, drink lots of water, and keep reading manga. Bye!